when the pandemic hit, um, we thought that we'd be fine, didn't we? Because it was that was March and, yeah. and obviously London Cocktail Week isn't until October. Um, and so we were like, oh, it'll be fine by October and the marathons move till October and it's all going to be great. Yeah. And then it slowly started to become apparent that the cocktail village might not be feasible. And then we thought, well, what's, the what's purpose. our purpose? And what became very clear quite quickly is that our purpose, because we, we're in this unique position that we um, speak to a lot of consumers and we speak to a lot of brands and then we, we, we're the platform for all these bars, that actually um, we had a position that we could help the bars that we work yeah. with. So we spent quite a lot of time on the phone to people actually because uh, you know we've been doing this on a long Zoom. time yeah on zoom we've been doing this a long time so a lot of these people are just their friends really now and so we phoned people up and said you know how do you feel do you do you want to do this should we do it should we take a break should we pause and just the feedback from everybody was that it would be helpful actually if we if we did run the festival so then that kind of renewed our kind of sense of yeah invigoration per yeah purpose yeah. and vigor for it so yeah it was it was great and then and then once we'd made the decision that we were definitely going to go ahead and that we had a with like a bit of a vision on it for which is you know not what you expect to do after a decade of business to kind of have fresh vision on something but once we decided then it was how we maximized the opportunity that we had. The backbone of London Cocktail Week has always been, um, for the last 11 years, uh, the cocktail tours, which is where we cherry pick. Um, now, this year was about 250 of what we consider to be the best bars for cocktails in London, um, and all of those bars serve a signature cocktail for six pounds. What we encourage brands to do on top of that, because obviously brands we're looking for opportunities to bring their brand worlds to life is rather than do that in a space that we offer so the cocktail village which is is what we usually um, run that they do those ind individual activations within bars um, so not only are they supporting the venues with a little bit of extra revenue but they're creating another reason for consumers to go and visit so again just supporting the venues that are that are part of it um, so for example we're in nine lives um, at the moment th this is where we're sat um, and nine lives every tuesday have the green room with Tanqueray where they have music and um, special drinks and on a monday they do master classes but what we were trying to do is, is keep as much revenue as possible within our partner bars, because obviously being closed for just so long has just been so difficult for everybody. So we just, yeah, we just try to be mindful.